Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about this look right here. It is my chocolate brown glitter festive go-to 2021 Christmas night out glam. Massive title, but that's what I'm going with. So this sort of look goes with any eye colour, it goes with any skin colour, it goes with absolutely any outfit that you are gonna wear this festive season. So I just thought, why not put it up? I'm loving the brown glitter, I just think it's so pretty. It makes your eyes sparkle, but it makes every eye color pop. So whether you have blue, green, or chocolate button brown eyes, this will look absolutely gorgeous on you. It's so easy to do, and you can leave the glitter out if you want to. If you don't want to put glitter and maybe just want to put a pigment on, you can, but it can be adapted completely for you. In the video as well, I will be reviewing this product right here. And it is the Sephora 12 hour colorful contour eye pencil in my boyfriend's jeans. This is their waterproof pencil. Now you may think, she mentions my boyfriend jeans from Sephora all the time. That's because the pencil used to be in a jumbo size. Now, when my friend, who's an air hostess, went to Sephora for me, she has a little nose and she said, can't find this jumbo pencil that you're on about. She spoke to the girl, the girl was like, no, no such thing. The only My Boyfriend's Jeans we do is this. Now, the one I use is a massive jumbo pencil and it is old. I've had it for ages, but I absolutely adore the pencil. It's absolutely amazing. And this is the new version. So, we are going to be reviewing it in this look and I will be talking about it at the very, very end. I'm also going to do some TikToks on it. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. I keep forgetting to put my things up, but I'm going to start doing it again. And yeah, if you'd like to know how I do this look, then do please stay tuned. If you would like to comment, like, or subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it. But let's just get into the video. Technology absolutely hates me and I'm not sure what happened, but the lighting kept going really funny on my video and I have not got the time to refilm. So I have tried to put it together as best I can. So I'm sorry if this is all a bit messy. But the first shadow I reached for was Chestnut from the Stacey Marie Antidote Palette and I buffed it in to the shape I wanted. I then reached for Stone and I used a small fluffier brush just to buff Chestnut out. And then I just went between the two over and over and over again, making sure Chestnut blended into Stone and Stone merged really well with Chestnut. I just wanted them to blend perfectly and by going back and forth you're just making sure that that blend keeps going you don't lose the color chestnut and you don't lose the color stone i also then took the color dove on a really fluffy brush and buffed the stone out with the shadow dove towards the brow this just helped make it really really fluffy really really blurred and just made the look transition perfectly towards the brow Again, after using Dove, I then still went back with some more chestnut, then some more stone, and then some more Dove, just making sure that we don't lose any of the layers before packing chestnut all over the lid. So this is gonna be your base eyeshadow before you apply the glitter, but you wanna make sure every bit of your lid is covered in eyeshadow. You also then wanna buff that shadow in again like you would with the chestnut in the crease then reaching for stone again and then reach for dove you want to make sure that every layer is dominant you don't want to lose any of your layers but you don't have to make sure that these are perfectly blended because when you reach for the glitter the glitter is gonna hide anything that isn't perfectly blended so if you can't get that blend and you're in a rush don't worry about it just move on to the next step just go for that more grungier vibe you could call it once we've done this, you're going to reach for the NYX Glitter Glue or any other cream glitter glue that you've got. I think the cream is easier to use. I actually find anything that's like a clear liquid stings my eyelids. So I'm just taking it on a really old fluffy brush and stippling it onto the eyeshadow, onto the lid and slightly above the crease. Not too high, but just slightly above chestnut and just onto stone and then i reached for my glitter planet dark soul glitter and i started to stipple that over the glue that we've just put on with the same brush and just stippling it on you want to make sure that it goes on but you don't want to rub it in because once you start rubbing glitter and it looks completely different if you just pat it on it does look so much nicer and again bringing that up above the crease and just tapping it and stippling it onto where stone was if you want to just take a few little flecks up towards the brow then that's also fine i do bring mine up high ish 
with the excess that's on it. I just like that blend between the glitters, the shadows and the brow. And onto the underneath, we cleaned it up and then we took the P. Louise base, we applied that and then what goes up must come down. So we're gonna take a small detailing brush and we're gonna take some chestnut. I'm gonna work it in underneath close to the lash line. Not too much, just a small amount, enough to give enough payoff basically. And then you wanna take some of stone with the same brush you used on the top and you're gonna buff that into chestnut before moving on to dove. You then wanna repeat your steps, make sure they're nice and dominant, you don't wanna lose any of your colors and you just wanna make sure you repeat those processes until you're happy with your blend underneath. Time to reach for the product we're gonna review and it's the Sephora Waterproof Pencil. When I first used it on the first eye, it didn't go on that easy, but it went on a little bit easier than when I used it on the second eye. So on the first eye, I popped it on and it seemed to wear down really easy. So the pencil didn't really seem to withstand any pressure on the waterline, which you just end up sharpening it tons in order to get it to work. Because by the time I got to the second eye, you can see I'm really struggling. It wasn't giving the colour payoff that I wanted. It wasn't applying easy. I don't have eyes that I can mess about with. As you can see throughout this video, I've had a watery eye, I keep touching it, trying to fix it, stop it from watering. This is just going to make my watery eyes even worse. So I'm going to be brutally honest, it was a really frustrating pencil to work with for somewhere as simple as the waterline. I took a pencil brush and took the shadow elixir from the same palette and popped it in my inner corner. This shadow has really truly got the right name, elixir. It's like a mixture of gold gold, green, brown, brass. It's just that perfect colour to go with this eye look. Then it was time for foundation. I'd done a lot of skin prep before this and I wanted to give, and you've heard me say this now numerous amounts of times, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk another go. So I thought, let's try it a different way. I thought, why not pack on that foundation? Not go for that natural finish, go for that really heavy foundation look without using absolutely umpteen amounts of the foundation so that's exactly what i done and i've got to be honest at the very end it had a much better finish so i think it's a bit ridiculous that i had to use loads but this foundation does not agree with my skin and i do tend to use it now for looks where i'm not going to take any photos or anything or if i'm nipping to the shops it's just a foundation that doesn't really like my skin or many of my clients for that matter so yeah i just gave it another go and it did look all right at the end of this video but it's still not a foundation I can honestly say I love. Then I moved on to my contour using my Laritzi contour stick, contouring all my usual places around my forehead, bridge of my nose, cheekbones, under my lip and on the tip of my nose. So I'm trying new contour ways with my nose because I don't like my nose and I also don't like my nose when it's contoured. It doesn't have a nice enough softness to it for it to be contoured i'm still doing this little trick in the middle of my cupid's bow i just like it i feel like it makes my lips stand out a little bit more but as for me nose there's never been a contour done to my nose that i like and i genuinely think it's because my nose is very sharp and it's very bony so it has no softness on the bridge so once i start contouring it it looks 10 times worse but been trying new ways to see how i can soften it and so that's what I've been doing. Then I reached for the Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer in the lightest shade they do, and I popped that in the usual places. I didn't need to use much concealer because I'd used a fair amount of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, and it did seem to cover pretty well, so I did only use a small amount of that. Often everything in as usual, circular upward motions around the cheek area of the contour, and then downward motions around the forehead, and downward on the areas on the chin, and and then just buffing it gently on the bridge of the nose. I did apply a little bit of concealer above the contour on my cheeks and the reason for that was because it looked a lot darker in the light I was sitting in and then when I walked away it actually wasn't so I just had to buff that in ever so slightly and obviously reaching for a beauty sponge in between just to ensure that it all blended out nicely. I then gently buffed out the concealer under my eyes and at the side of my eyes and took a very small amount of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and applied that onto where my concealer would be underneath my eyes. I reached for my Pixie Beauty Cream blushes and I popped the dark purple on my high points of my cheeks 
as you can see, this is the face of someone who knows fine well. She's put far too much blush around. So I took a clean buffing brush and just buffed it in. But then it was still a little bit too dark for me. So I took some excess foundation off my brush and buffed that in just to lighten it ever so slightly. I just didn't want it to be too much. But by the end of the video and by the time like I'd finished filming and everything like that, Blush is like the first thing that leaves your face for whatever reason, and I do set this in a bit, but it is the first thing to leave your face. It just, I don't know, it just disappears. So I, I do try not to worry too much if I put a little bit too much on to begin with, because I know once it's all settled and everything, it'll look perfectly fine. And for my fave glow powder from Laura Mercier, this is like a dry skin's best friend. It just makes your foundation go from zero to 100. Then using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and placing that in all the areas, we use the Laritzi Contour Stick, just making sure to embed that bronzing gorgeousness that we created with the cream contour. And then I used a Pixie Beauty's highlighter it was a pink shade I can't remember the name but I just used that to highlight all the areas I wanted to highlight and in a minute you will see my mum's arm passing me a jumper and my earphones I don't actually know what she's doing then I popped off camera and done my eyebrows and my eyelashes and that's pretty much it and this is the finished look I did pop off camera to do my eyelashes and eyebrows but that is the finished look I absolutely love the brown glitter, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I think it goes with absolutely everything and it is adaptable. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. Also forgot how much I like doing my eyebrows like this. So as you all know, I normally use like brow gels and everything. But since pre-COVID, I haven't really done a heavy eye. And I hadn't done my eyebrows the way I used to when I would wear a really heavy eye makeup. So I thought, you know what? And I only ever used to do this brow when my eyebrows weren't tinted and my eyebrows haven't been tinted a while. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do the old way. And I forgot how much I like my brows like this. So you'll probably see me picking that up again a few times when my brows aren't tinted. They're due to be tinted in a couple of weeks when I dye my hair. So I'll get round to it. I'm so lazy for somebody who does makeup and beauty. You know, I literally... I'm just... I never do any of my own thing, but let's get talking about this. So this pencil, obviously I do say in the video what I think of it during the video, but this colour on my waterline, you can 100% swap out if you want to put brown, black, green, pink, yellow, any colour will go with this eye look. If you want to match it to maybe your shoes, maybe you're wearing orange shoes, whatever, and it will look gorgeous no matter what colour you wear. But as for this pencil, I personally think the old one was a thousand times better. They are two completely different colours. The old My Boyfriend's Jeans was just so bright. It popped, it went on really well, it was creamy, it stayed on. This does not stay on anywhere near as well as the old one. It doesn't pop as well, it doesn't glide on as easy, it's just not as good. Sephora definitely needs to bring back the old one. Now, obviously, I didn't shop for it myself. If the other one is still there, and maybe it was just this one Sephora that they didn't have it in New York, maybe, but I've got a feeling it's been discontinued. It's just so annoying that I can't get on the Sephora website to look. But nonetheless, this look looks lovely with any pencil or gel or whatever you want to put in the waterline. If you want to wear lashes, wear lashes. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Always adapt these looks to you, but the perks of a look like this in your like repertoire to just whip out when you don't know what you're wearing or you don't know where you're going or you don't know what you want to do. This is like a neutral but eye-catching, popping makeup look. So I personally think it's lovely. It's so, so, so nice. I hope you like it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe or follow me on other forms of social media. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.